um, asthmatic selkie is at Eustachia by 77. Um, what? What again? Asthmatic selkie? Asthmatic selkie. Selkie. S-E-L? S-E-L-K-I-E. K-I-E. Um, I think she's changed her Twitter handle since then, but yeah, that's not fun. I'm happy and sad. <laughs> um, I found you guys by a night veil. Um, any other podcast faves? Oh, we yeah, remember when that. What yeah. was the song? Uh, Do you remember? I, I think it was. Um, was it Quiet American? I think it was Quiet American. Yeah, this was the weather. Right. Yeah, that's um, right. On it. Yeah, Cade. Gosh, yeah, like I th- that was that was such a blip. From that's really cool. What was the what was the second part of the question? Uh, do you have any other favorite podcasts? Favorite podcasts. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not much of a podcast listener. Um, the my my friends uh, Brandon Edgens and Anson Mount have started a podcast called The Well, um, which they interviewed me for. Uh, so it's a shameless plug for The Well. <laughs> I think that 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 has come. Out. It's about sort of like sources of artistic inspiration. They put a lot of work into it. That's good. And it's it is good. Um, so that's a new one. Um, and I mean, Pod Save America. I've enjoyed some this last year. Um, isn't ninety nine percent invisible? Will they have a podcast? I think they have a podcast. I feel podcast. like I've heard a couple of those. That yeah. Are like on a tour or something at some point. And. Um, well, it's not a podcast; it's a show. But but the NPR show on the media is just one of my favorite things yeah. every week. I just that's produced here out of New York with Brooke Gladstone and Bob Garfield, and it's just like you just wish all the news could be like that. It's I agree. so thoughtful about like sort of taking a step back and looking at the whole media landscape and how different stories from the week have been portrayed and um, you know undercurrents within them and. Like with, look, last week or something during the or two weeks ago when the, during the NFL protests there were. Um, they're talking about this. They did a whole section on the Star Spangled Banner, the song. I don't think I heard that one. Where the song came from and the tune and like all the different lyrics that had been set to it and parody lyrics of various kinds. In the Civil War, there was a version of it about the um, the home of the slave, and the, Whoa. The, it was like it, it was. It's far more plastic in its origins <laughs> than you would ever think, and uh, it, it ended up making me kind of like it more, which is hard to do because it's a really like, cumbersome and weird tune and I can never forget like I feel like it was most thoroughly and successfully destroyed by Whitney Houston <laughs> when she kind of like sang the daylights out of it but she did it in that way that like she was always such a creepy singer because her her you know she would she was so good so good so good but all, but there was always this weird hollowness to her so it was like she was singing about emotions instead of in them I can just like that. my great terror as a singer I can see that. Well, because she, I, I feel like, I feel like that's kind of what was put upon her yeah, to do. I, she, yeah, she's a, she, I mean, she's, there's a sad, there's a deep, you know, of yeah, course now we know of course. She, yeah. her life ended, but like the, the there's just, there was this weird glassy kind of android sort of patina about, about her that was always sort of eerie, and her perversion of the Star Spangled Banner is like, probably one of the truest expressions of that it's yeah. so ornate such a like it's so like watching ornate. you know it's like watching a gymnast score a 10 on the, on the yeah whatever it is the mixed events or the, the what do you call that uh, when, you know, when you do the, the the poles and the pommel horse and like all of those different yeah the full things. yeah I can't remember what the like all the events yeah but it's yeah. like watching somebody just nail that yeah, you yeah, know yeah. and you just admire it for its its kind of perfection but but it's all the same there's something like inhuman about it mm. I was in like a used car dealership somewhere, I think in Arizona at one point, and there was a, a Whitney Houston song, and then there was like a, a Wham song after that, and just like the two of those voices kind of stacked against each other, and I'm afraid George Michael kind of wins. Wow. His, it was just so much more emotive, yeah. always. Yeah. Like you really felt like it was him singing somehow. I don't know if it was. He was just good for doing it. He was very good. They were both very good, but I, I understand... Were. I can I, I understand your point about Winnie Houston. She's more technical and and seems more, um, like she's got a like she's singing with a gun to her head. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. cheery thought. Sorry. That... <laughs> <laughs> no. How will I know? How will I know? How will I know? Yeah. <laughs> this is the last.